the story of how I fully bashed my ankle in two spots. Tibia and Fibia smashed, destroyed. Kiteboarding in Costa Rica after work. The guy before me was doing huge boosts and the wind was really good. So I was super excited to go. I was fully powered up and I just went for a big boost, pulled in. Didn't have the kite high enough in the air, so I did like a line drive boost. And then still tried to land it, which I shouldn't have done. One foot came out of the binding. One foot stayed in. Got super tweaked by the board. My ankle was just kind of like going like this. So then I knew I shouldn't try to kite. Next night, went to the hospital in Liberia. Got the x-rays. And one of the nurses, as I was walking out, told me, Yeah, fractura. Now I'm back in Michigan, and today's finally the day I'm going into surgery. Well, we're just running a few minutes late. It'll all be okay. The confusion was because I thought they said 1 o'clock, but I guess that's when I'm getting cut. So you have to be there a bit early. Henton said don't try to fight the IV. Don't try to fight the meds to stay awake. Just give in and let them take you. So that's what I'm gonna do. The calf is very small now. This used to be tight when they first wrapped it. I haven't, I've only taken like five Advils since the injury. I've had quite enough of this. Time to remove it. The best thing about going to the hospital. How to put on the hairnet. They said I'm allowed to keep on my underwear, but I don't wear underwear, so not going to be having any of that. I'm all plugged into my IV, pain-free, ready to get put down. They're going to put in the nerve block, local anesthesia. I really want to take a video when I get... We can have them come back. We're going to have them step out for while we do this, though. All right. Just woke up, went to the other side, had an out-of-body experience. I saw my soul get pulled out of my body. <laughs> now I'm eating some Cheez-Its. I had a Verner's. I asked for a ginger ale, but they gave me it. Converters. It's a tough life. Real tough. Now the pain is finally here. Pretty solid amount of pain. Throbbing. The plates grinding into the bone. <laughs> one plate, one massive screw all the way through the bone and three other screws, maybe four, holding in the plate. I got the x-rays right here. Check it out. Just gonna try to meditate the pain away. No pain, no gain, pay to play. It is one day after surgery, about 24 hours after surgery. I slept for like two hours last night. I was just rolling around in pain pretty much the whole night. Watched some good shows though on Netflix, so that's cool, I guess. Yeah, these Norcos they gave me just are not quite doing the job. Just in a lot of pain. I think my splint was too tight, so I loosened that. That helped a little bit. Only got to sleep for like an hour or two after taking a bunch of melatonin and painkillers. Um, now I can really feel the screws and the plates in the bone, which is just super brutal, sharp, uncomfortable pain. The numbing agents, the numbing nerve block is definitely gone now. So, just dealing with the pain, gonna try to watch some shows and distract my mind, been doing some meditation, icing, 
and compression and elevating. So trying to stay positive, talking to friends on FaceTime, and hopefully I can take some melatonins and painkillers and get the pain manageable so I can sleep for a few hours. Yeah. Yeah, you break your ankle and you want to make some gains. Fantastic. The gains package. Thank you.